In this video, you're going to learn how to factor the sum and difference of two cubes. So the first thing that you want to know are the formulas. Of course, we're going to go over that. But you also want to know these perfect cubes, these common ones that come up over and over again, like 1 cubed is 1, and 2 cubed is 8, and 10 cubed is 1,000. So see if you can memorize these. That will be helpful for recognizing when you have a sum of two cubes or a difference of two cubes. Now, the next thing we want to look at here is the formula. And when you think about a perfect cube plus a perfect cube, what you want to do is you want to take the cube root of this quantity, you want to take the cube root of this quantity, so you can figure out what your a and b values are. And then we're going to go ahead and substitute in this formula uh, as seen here. Now the acronym that a lot of students memorize when they're learning sum of two cubes and difference of two cubes is this SOAP acronym. And what it stands for is same opposite, always positive. So if you're adding, this is the same you're going to be adding. Then the next sign is going to be the opposite. You're going to be subtracting. And the last one is always positive. So that's just a nice way of remembering. Also, when you do a difference of two cubes, same thing. When you're subtracting, see it's the same. You're subtracting. Then the opposite, and then always positive. So the only thing you really have to memorize then are a and b, a squared, a, b, and b squared. It's the same for both formulas. It's just that the signs are different. So let's jump into these four examples, and I'll show you how to work with these. The first one, x cubed minus 27. See, if I take the cube root of x cubed, see, that's really going to be like just x. So this is like our a value. When I take the cube root of 27, that's 3, right? So this is going to be like our b value. So we're subtracting. So this is a difference of two cubes. So we're going to start off with x minus 3. So that's a minus b. Then x squared, the opposite sign, plus a times b, which is 3x, always positive, b squared. So 3 times 3, which is 9. Now, a lot of students will say, well, Mario, can't you factor this trinomial further? And when you're doing these sum of two cubes and difference of two cubes, this won't be able to be factored any further. That's as far as we can go. So this is your final result, and you've got it factored. Now, keep in mind when you're factoring, you always want to look for that greatest common factor first. If there isn't a greatest common factor, then you can analyze is it a sum of two cubes, difference of two cubes, and proceed from there. So let's look at a more uh, difficult one now. Number two, we've got 8y cubed plus 1. So what quantity times itself three times is 8y cubed? Well, that's going to be 2y times 2y times 2y. And what times itself three times is 1? Well, that's just going to be 1. So sometimes people overlook 1 as a perfect cube. Now, the reason I wrote it like this is just to identify the a value and the b value. So a is 2y, b is 1. We're adding, so we're going to want to use this formula here at the top, and we're going to follow that SOAP acronym. So we've got a plus b, so this is the same, we're adding, we're adding. Then we've got a squared, so 2y times 2y is 4y squared. Because this was adding, we want to now do the opposite, minus a times b, which is 2y, and the last is always going to be positive, b squared. So 1 times 1, which is 1, and now you've got it fully factored. See if you can do number 3 and 4. We're going to go through them together. What times itself is 64d cubed? Well, you can see 64 is 4 to the third power. So this is really going to be 4d times 4d times 4d, or 4d cubed. 125 is 5 cubed. And so now this is going to be our a and our b in our formula. So following that SOAP pattern, that acronym, we're going to say a minus b, a squared, which is 4d times 4d, which is 16d squared, opposite, since we subtracted here, we're doing the opposite, adding here, a times b, so 4d times 5 is 20d, plus uh, b squared, which is 5 squared, which is 25. Remember, the last one's always positive. And that's it. You've got it fully factored. Okay, last example. See if you can do this one. 216c cubed plus 1,000d cubed. This one, what times itself three times is 216? Well, you can see that's going to be 6 cubed. So this is going to be 6c. What times itself three times is 1,000? Well, that's going to be 10 cubed. So this is going to be 10d, the quantity cubed. So this is our a and this is our b. So now if we put it all together, we've got a plus b. Okay, see this is adding, so we're adding, that's the same. 
Then we've got a squared, which is going to be 6c times 6c, that's 36c squared. And then uh, the opposite, so if we're adding, we subtract, that's going to be a times b, that's 60cd. And the last one's always positive, that's going to be b squared, 10d times 10d, which is 100d squared. And you've got it fully factored. If you want to see more examples of factoring, specifically how to factor all different types, I show you like a decision tree, like how to decide what to do first, second, third. Follow me over to that really comprehensive video right there where I dive into all the different types. I'll see you in that video.